You are sitting at your desk typing away at the countless emails you have to respond to today and your list of tasks is growing by the minute. Suddenly you feel that familiar sensation that all breastfeeding moms know, let down. You need to pump and you need to pump quick. So you can either go to the restroom in our facility according to our command, which has a funny smell, or you can drive the 10 minutes to David Grant Medical Center, which has the one and only lactation room on Travis Air Force Base to pump your breast milk. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Billion. I'm going to talk to you today about breastfeeding moms in the military. We're going to discuss the Air Force regulation protecting military moms who are breastfeeding in the Air Force. We're also going to talk about the benefits of breastfeeding for mom and baby. And finally, we're going to talk about the path of military policy regarding breastfeeding in the future. So now that I've painted a picture for you of what myself and my Air Force colleagues on Travis Air Force Base face on a daily basis when we need to pump or breastfeed our child, we're going to go ahead and talk about the Air Force regulation that actually helps to protect us. According to Air Force Instruction 44-102, paragraph 4.15.1, Air Force supervisors are required to provide Air Force members who are breastfeeding 15 to 30 minutes every three to four hours to express their breast milk. So also they need to provide that member with a private and clean location. A bathroom is not considered an adequate location. They also need to provide that member with comfortable seating, an outlet to plug in their equipment, a refrigerator to store their express breast milk, and also a running water source so that they can clean their equipment once they have finished. So that is the Air Force regulation kind of summed up quickly. So now that we've discussed that Air Force instruction that is meant to protect breastfeeding moms, let's go ahead and talk about the benefits of breastfeeding for mom and baby. There are many benefits for breastfeeding for the child, but there also are for the mother. Breastfeeding helps to promote an emotional bond between the child and the mother. The act of breastfeeding your baby releases the hormones oxytocin and serotonin in both the baby and the mother. This encourages a strong emotional bond between the mother and the baby. That bond that is developed between the mother and her breastfed baby has been proven to lead to a better emotional stability throughout that child's life. So there's a good benefit. Also, breastfeeding helps to strengthen your child's immune system, which helps the Air Force mother or military mother to make it to work because her child is able to go to daycare and is healthier. So now that we've discussed some of the benefits of breastfeeding for both the mom and baby, let's discuss the projected, uh, the projected path of, military, of the military to help improve military mother's ability to breastfeed. So many military leaders recognize the continuing struggle many military mothers who choose to breastfeed face and they are working to lessen the struggle by rewriting some regulations and changing some outdated policies. A breastfeeding advocate by the name of Robin Rochelle Paul, author of Breastfeeding and Combat Boots, who also has a website, um, well, she's also affiliated with Facebook and Instagram, and she has a blog that is actually titled Breastfeeding and Combat Boots, where she helps breastfeeding mothers who are in the military um, work with their chain of command, um, come up with ways to kind of talk to them about things that maybe aren't working for them or questions that they may have. Also, it has breastfeeding mothers who share stories and then also stories that pertain to breastfeeding that really help the mothers out. Um, she's actually working towards developing an adequate and more standardized policy for all branches in the military to follow. So she's actually a breastfeeding advocate and a lactation consultant. Um, currently, the Army has a policy in place and that policy does not afford the mother the basic requirements to pump that the other branches ensure their members have. The Army policy states that the bathroom is an adequate pumping facility. Advocates for breastfeeding um, are working to change this because we all know how some bathrooms can look, especially military bathrooms at times. So representatives are asking the Army Chief of Staff to reconsider the current policy and continue to work on shaping the policy to help Army soldiers to be successful soldiers as well as breastfeeding mothers. 
So I hope today you've learned the importance of breastfeeding for military moms as well as non-military moms and their babies. I hope I have also helped you to better understand the policies currently in place and the policies that will hopefully someday be in place to help military moms to continue to protect and serve their country as well as feed their babies. Today we discuss breastfeeding in the military, the current Air Force regulation regarding it, the benefits of breastfeeding for mom and baby, and the future path of the military to help shape policy to better suit breastfeeding mothers in the military. Thank you so much for your time today. I hope I've helped you to better understand breastfeeding moms in the military. Have a great one.